So, uh, welcome, Mr. Um, Yowlin. Uh, what makes you think you're a good candidate for the manager job here at Leeds United? Uh, I think that what makes me a good candidate for a job is, you could say I could predict the future in football. Okay, uh, a lot of managerial candidates claim to know how the game will progress in the next few years. I'm gonna need you to be a bit more specific than that. No, no, I mean, I can really predict the future. Like, I can tell you about the World Cup. Ronaldo of Brazil is going to break the all-time World Cup scoring record. England knocked out on penalties against Portugal. You know Zidane Zidane? This is his last tournament. And he's going to play amazing up until the final where he's going to headbutt Materazzi. And get sent off and France will lose on penalties. <laughs> That's a bit more specific than I was asking for. <laughs> I, uh, that seems unlikely. Um, I think you might just be trying to play around with me here. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to pursue other candidates, I think. Uh, thank you for your time. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine, okay. Yes. Yeah, well. Hello, Mr. Yowlin. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's me. It's the managerial director of Leeds United Football Club. I was calling about the manager position that was open. Like you were pursuing other candidates. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we weren't pursuing other candidates. That's just something, uh, something I said. Uh, yeah, I was wondering whether you'd still be interested. Yeah, you watch the World Cup then. Yeah, I watch the World Cup. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, player transfers. I'll be in full control of that. Yes, you will have full responsibility for all, all transfers. Of course, of course. Yeah. Why don't you come down and sign on Sunday? Yes, yeah, Sunday works fine. Sounds good. Thank you very much, sir. Cheers. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome to this Football Manager 2020 Let's Play with Leeds United 2007 edition. Okay, so the thing is, I've got my hands on the new database by Mad Scientist FM. It's crazy good. Go check him out. He's on Facebook, he's on Twitter, he's everywhere. And where he's recreated the 2006 and 2007 season or before that season in FM20 and I was wondering which team should I play play as and I came to the conclusion what if we went back in time and tried to save Leeds before it went like really bad so this is a season they got 10, 10 points deducted from them due to the whole administration thing uh, and they were relegated into League 1 and got another 15 points deducted there. Um, so, our objective is save Leeds, stabilize them, get them back into the Prem eventually and start challenging for titles, which no title since 92, I believe. Uh, so, I'm super excited for that. It's going to be a real challenge. Um, but yeah, join me. Okay, intro media prediction 22nd. Having not won a competition since 92, correct? Okay, this is our predicted strongest 11. Uh, quite a few names you <laughs> won't recognize. You have Gary Kelly, of course. You have Matthew Killigan. I remember Robbie Blake and David Healy. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how many actually do that. It's a dark time. 
We have Danny Rose in our academy. So that's interesting. A very interesting. And this is our club culture, club vision thing. Like develop uh, players using the youth system, play attacking and entertaining football and work within the wage budget. This one is uh, essential for how we are going to play the save. If we're going to be allowed to play the save actually beyond the first year. And these are good. Okay, uh, I think we should start by looking at the big elephant in the room. The club's finances. We're not in a great position. Also, by the way, I've disabled the first transfer window so that we get a more realistic first season. So no transfers in or out until January. So I was like considering what I was going to do, but I decided I think that's going to be the most fun, most challenging as well. And we might just have lost all our players if we had had the transfer window open. Okay, finances. We're minus 4.7 million. An overall balance doesn't seem that bad. But we have a net depth of 40 million. So that's uh, where the biggest issue is. So we're going to pay 300k each month on down payments. So we're always going to be... Um, it's going to take some time until we uh, have money to use or to spend on players and stuff. So I think for the first few seasons, we're going to have to go looking for bargains and free transfers. Um, but let's see what we have to work with currently. Our squad. Okay, we can look at... Like, yeah, sure, this. Okay. Who's our best player according to our assistants? We have Ian Westlake, a box to box midfielder. Pretty alright stats, actually. Good physicals. Aggressive. This guy, I know, is hated by a lot of lead supporters. Kevin Nichols. He stayed for like half a season before requesting a transfer. He was injured for almost the entire time. I think he played like 14 games or something for Leeds. But he was supposed to be very good. Uh, and you can see his stats is very good. He's out for like three months or something here. Um... But yeah, so we'll uh, we'll have to decide on whether we want to make this his redemption arc or whether we're just shipping him off in January like Leeds really did. And this is one of few players remaining from the O'Leary era. You have good old Gary Kelly, currently our captain, I believe. The pace of sixteen and thirty-one, not bad, not bad. Sean Derry. Not that old as in his picture. Pretty good work rate. We have a lot of high work rate players. Joff Horsfield on loan from Sheffield United. Another player with great work rate. I was also thinking about like how we wanted the club's identity to be. I wanted like a long term goal of the club to get back to that almost nasty play style that Leeds had at their best. You never want to face Leeds. It's like you have you had David Batty and such. And their star player Mark Viduka was like you didn't want to go into duels with him. He's a big, big strong fella. But his technique was amazing as well. Uh, so looking at our current players, it seems like we could start playing like that already. Matthew Killigan, another player remaining for that's been at the club for a few years, coming through the youth academy, I believe. 
if I'm not mistaken. Yes. We have Neil Sullivan, a goalkeeper. He used to play for Chelsea, I believe. Robbie Blake, David Healy, Casper Ankergren on loan from Brunby. Fraser Richardson coming through the academy as well. Steve Stone, pretty sure he just got injured and retired during the season, if I'm not mistaken. But if he's fit, we might use him. He's actually a right midfielder. I always thought he was a defensive midfielder. I guess my mistake. So yeah, that's our that's our team. So let's work on tactic, yeah? I think that's the best next step. So we gotta remember that we're pretty bad compared to the rest of the league. Because at this time Leeds have sold had sold off most of their good players. So I think we'll just start with working from a direct counterattack. And just go 4-4-2 four, four, for now. So Let's see what players we'd want to put in. We want Gary Kelly. That's no doubt in my, uh, my book. Pretty sure Ian Westlake probably goes in. Sean Derry, I definitely believe, is going in. So for now, let's put these in. David Healy is probably our go-to guy up front. His work rate is kind of low, so it doesn't work as well with uh, if we're going to press really high. We also have Robbie Blake as a potential striker. It's more of the same in terms of work great. He's, he's an all-round decent striker. Good passing. It's pretty weak. Not that slow. Not that quick, I mean. Pretty slow. David Healy a bit quicker. So we could, could have him pressing the line and Robbie Blake playing a bit more off David Healy. We also have, have Richard Cresswell, more of a target man type of player. Uh, I think I want to go with Helium Blake, but Cresswell could be a good backup option. Kilgan, no doubt, starting in defense. By the way, I should check our reserves if there's anyone that's ready. Oh, we have Jermaine Beckford, a uh, good scorer for Leeds in the future, like in real life. Danny Rose, he's our super biggest talent, no doubt. He's actually a attacking midfielder at this point in his career. We all know he's gone on to be one of England's best left backs. But for now, I mean, these attributes aren't bad. Johnny Housen, not one who's went on and played games for Leeds. He's not there yet. Fabian Delph, Tommy Amiobi. Fabian Delph, also another one who's going to be... Danny Ward, where did he go on to play? I don't remember. Okay, but no one in our academy seemed ready for the first team yet. So the question is, do we actually have wingers in the squad? We only have Steve Stone if we're playing flat wingers. And Sebastian Carroll. He seems pretty average. Steve Stone is like, well, actually, actually very good. On the left, we could play in Westlake, Jonathan Douglas, pretty all-around good player, and Eddie Lewis. Seems like our best bet playing Lewis. If we push him forward, both Kroll and Lewis are way happier playing push up. But I think we're, we're going to have to play flat four in midfield. So... Let's look at Lewis and Steve Stone for now. Kroll is going to be our backup winger. 
in terms of second center back I think because Kilgan is pretty tall right yeah it's quick as well so this is actually any player could work with him I'll see on the ball nah, not bad not amazing not bad this is a really strong center back I think we'd play Butler Unless Sean Gregan is any... Nah, he's more of a defensive midfielder. And our only left back is Craney. And when it comes to the goalkeeping position, I do think Neil Sullivan should be the best. Okay. Let's fill it up with... Source field. Okay, it's time to pick the roles. Sean Derry is a hard working. He's a box to box midfielder, he's a bit slow. Westlake is quicker. He's worse defensively. Way worse defensively. I think we play Sean Derry on ball winning and Westlake on box to box. It's gonna be a. a we're gonna have to play kind of narrow on defense if we're going box to box and ball winning because they're moving out of position a lot um because he's gonna go and uh, like yeah, attack the ball here and he's gonna be a bit slower back to defense because he's gonna c come late into the box on attack eddie lewis how's his he's pretty all-round winger he's good at both attacking and defending so I think winger attack should be good because his ball handling is yeah yeah and steve stone is same he's probably more of a support winger but this is right footed and he's left footed right yes fullbacks probably going to be rather defensive he's more of a playmaker Shaq, he's actually way better offensively than defensively and he's just really, really good. I think fullback on. Yeah, I think on attack, actually. How bad is he with the ball? Terrible. Okay, no nonsense. Center back for him, and Kilgan will be a normal central defender. He's probably. Not amazing with the ball either. We're gonna play just a goalkeeper. In terms of our strikers, Healy is does not have a great work rate. So he's probably just a advanced forward, not a pressing forward. And Robbie Blake is his preferred move. Like sit into okay. Yeah, he's definitely a deep playing forward. Could play him as false nine as well. He'll go even further back, covering a bit of this area that we were kind of lacking in. I don't think that's super bad, actually. I think I'm gonna go like this though. Because I want Luis crossing on the far right into Healy and he's gonna play more through balls from this side uh, and like link up here I think that should be good let's go for our team instructions attacking with should be fairly wide uh, would be focusing playing down our wingers rather direct I think mm. I think we run at don't play for set pieces because we our team is not that tall I believe because none of our strikers are tall midfielders no okay so no play for set pieces creative freedom I think we go like this blend counter when we win the ball uh, 
think we don't do anything here. Distribute quickly. How's this distribution? Kicking seven. Throwing nine. Yeah, you are just gonna roll it out. Mm. We're gonna lay. We can have it pushed a bit up and low. Because then we're like super compact, but our defenders are decently quick. Not M, but Kilgan. It's fairly quick. 16 pace, yeah. Good anticipation. So he's gonna cover balls through this area and we're also in the championship so they're not gonna hit those paths with pinpoint accuracy so i think that should be good so this is our primary tactic i'll probably set up a few more like during the preseason and i'll show you guys when we we're done with that okay so we're gonna have our first start actually i'm gonna look at a couple of other things first okay this is terrible team cohesion i think that's just because it's a new database it's going to be that for every team uh our staff is very light i believe yeah so i'm probably going to have to bring in a couple of staffs during uh, a few staff during the preseason i'll show you guys when i return yeah, because we have nothing for our under 23s, essentially. At the same time, we need to be careful all about the economy or the finances. We don't have an assistant coach. We definitely need an assistant coach. Uh, I'm going to set up training just, yeah. In terms of competition, we're in the FA Cup and the League Cup. I think we're going to have to prioritize the league this season. No doubt, because we got to stay in the championship. Not only because staying in the championship is very, very lucrative in terms of finances, but this database only goes down to the championship. So if we get relegated, we lose our job automatically. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So I'll play through the preseason and i think i'll see you guys on like the 3rd of august and we'll do the opening day against sheffield wednesday that's an interesting one i think we're going to do that match together but yeah thank you all for watching so far if you want to catch me live on twitch i stream three days a week over at twitch.tv slash yaolin you can go over there. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Just drop a hello in chat, anything. Much appreciated. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.